Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing a resin project. Uh, instead of doing it on my coasters, I'm going to be doing an undersea, under the sea surfboard mold. And I'm going to be using some fake black coral. I'm going to be using some starfish, seaweed, shells, gravel, different sticker fish and today I'm using clear pour epoxy hardener and part A and B 50-50 so as soon as I get finished stirring this up I will be back with you got my resin ready to go wanted to show you a couple other things I've been working on so this is going to be similar to these coasters that I made except this is I used two two layers I used the clear layer on the bottom I had to work like this the same as I'm going to work with this and then I put the blue on top of it I'm going to do the same thing here today I made a little Christmas ornament a little hole for the hook and these this is the holder for the coasters fit right in there thought that was pretty cute to work upside down on these too I just like working upside down with making these because when you get the mold out. I don't have those rough edges on the top. I will have rough edges on the bottom, but those don't show as much and I can get those off with a razor blade. Let's get going. Well, first of all, I want to show you, this is YRYMHT, resin pigment. Can you read that? I don't even know if anybody can pronounce that. So it's quite transparent. I'm going to go ahead and pour a little bit out. I have another project over here. If you want to be exact, I'm going to go ahead and tint the first layer and not do a two layer process. If I do, I still might do a two layer, but I'm going to go ahead and tint the first layer. If you want to be really precise on how much you need, I could have filled this up with water and then measured the water to know exactly. But usually I have things left over, coasters or some, some other molds I want to do that I don't film. I don't want to go really dark either, so let's keep it really stir any pigment, any paste. I haven't tried my piggy pigments in this. I just feel like the powdered micas leave little tiny dots, but to be fair, um, I haven't tried all the different brands. Okay, put the sides. That's blue, but it's still really clear, so I think that's about it. If I need it to be darker, I can always put that last layer on darker if I choose to do another layer. And I'm hoping this is enough. I have a little bit left over if it's not, so let's get going here. very thin mold. I did make sure this was level. However, I, <clears throat> I totally did not get the amount right. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in or go ahead and mix this up too. 
problem with mixing it separately is trying to get the perfect color and then it'll always show but if in the water it shouldn't you know under the under the sea is you have different blues under there I need to practice what I preach, right? I need to start measuring with water. Okay, I'm going to pour this. First, I'm going to try to spread this out evenly. Well, I might be okay. I'll save that. It's leveled out nicely, so I'm going to go ahead and start working with it like this. So this is plastic. This is from a fish tank. If you look back on some of my other videos for coasters, you can see it's called aquarium coasters. You can see how I've used these before. I'm just going to show you. It's this. this. I cut off pieces. Oops. Should have known. So you have to keep sort of babysitting it, keep pushing it down. Now this is a sticker, and I'm, the sticky side is going to be up, so it's really, I just wanted the back off so it becomes more transparent. I didn't really need to, and the sticky side doesn't really matter. I'm using a real starfish. I got those on Amazon. Be using everything's upside down here. A turtle. I have to make sure. Is that upside down? Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Fish. I did spray with mold release, cast and craft mold release conditioner. That way it should come out of the mold easy. This is also plastic.
you just have to keep an eye on it for maybe, I don't know, um, until it thickens up enough where they're not going to move around. So I'll keep an eye on it, come back in about 10 minutes, make sure you cover your work because especially I'm outside, little bugs and critters and dust will get on it. So I'm going to cover it and then come back in 10 minutes and then I'll see you tomorrow for my second layer because this is not thick enough. And I think because I like the color, I'll go ahead and put clear over this. It's the next day, so I'm going to go ahead. I roughed this up a little bit. I wiped off the dust <clears throat> so the clear resin will adhere better. Hardly any bubbles in there at all, so this resin is really good for molds. Using the same clear pour epoxy. We'll go ahead and do one more layer here. I will see you tomorrow for the unmolding. It's the next day. Let's demold this. stuck area and I use the demold too so let's try not to ruin the mold here slowly okay okay here we go I would put it on a stand. Tell me what you think. Put some hangers, hang it on the wall. Look nice in a bathroom. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Till next time. <laughs>